Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you today about an extremely frustrating experience that I've had with Unity. Now, I believe this is not something that should be a problem in a release version that's deemed to be stable, but uh, as you guys can see, I am using Unity 2019, and uh, Unity 2019 has a particular issue with in-app purchases. So I created a mobile app, and it was ready to be released, published it on the Google Play Store, um, I did my internal test, my alpha test, and then I ran into this issue while I was trying my, my alpha test. I was trying to get my in-app purchases to work, and what would happen, I would click on the button, and the Google Play prompt that tells you that, hey, you're about to buy something, it costs this much money, uh, do you want to confirm the purchase, that prompt would not pop up. So I just click on the button and pretty much nothing happened. And this was really frustrating because in the editor, it actually worked. Um, when I say nothing happened, nothing happened on the actual build. So when I built it to an Android, I just took my phone, you know, it's plugged into the computer, I built it right here, nothing would work. And that was an issue because there was no problem with the code, there was no problem with the way that things were set up, everything was perfectly configured on Google, everything was good on Unity. Um, there's really no way to search for this error because the error didn't exist except there was an error. It's just not something that you would find with the editor. It's not something you would find with your files, your configuration settings. The problem was I was using Unity 2019. And I wasn't using any kind of beta version. I was using the stable version. But Unity 2019 had a particular issue, which apparently Unity knows about, but they did not mention in their documentation, where if you have the editor installed in the default location, it's going to give you a problem. And the default location is, for most people, program files. But program files is not OK. Let me show you why. So if you go to this PC, local disk C, and then you search for program files. Program files has a space. Go figure. So this thing that's you know pretty much default to Windows, it has a space. And apparently that's a problem in Unity 2019 for in-app purchases. And this was really frustrating because the advertisements were working just fine. Ads got delivered, ads generated revenue, but in-app purchases were not creating that Google Play prompt because Unity was installed in a place that had a space. Here's my Unity folder. You can't have that. So what do you do to fix this? You have to take Unity, and you can do this from the Unity Hub. You go to your current installs, and then you can just take the one that you were using, click on the three dots, and then uninstall that one. Now it's gonna take a while, but after that you go to official releases, choose the release that you want, and then reinstall it in a location that does not have a space. So what would that look like? I'm gonna go to my G drive, and then I created a folder Unity 2019 with no space, and I downloaded it right here. Now to actually do that from the hub, what you have to do is you have to go into your settings and then change the editor folder's location. And that I feel like was totally unnecessary, but um, the product was totally worth it. My in-app purchases are now working. That's all I had to do. I probably spent about three days when I could have been developing content, when I could have been making my game better, I spent a whole lot of time searching for answers that I could not find for something that was so basic. Um, I needed my in-app purchases to work so that of course the app could generate revenue and people could be happy with um, those in-app purchases as well. So hopefully this helps you out and you guys are able to make some incredible apps. It took me forever to find the solution and so I'm just hoping that uh, you guys don't have to spend all that time finding the solution for yourselves. Good luck with your projects and have a great day. I do have a subscribe button up there and a couple of other recommended videos in case you're interested. See you guys next time.